which command verifies configuration syntax without applying the changes. Commit confirmed. Commit check. Commit comment. Commit and quit. Commit check, verify the syntax of the configuration, but do not activate it. Commit confirmed, require that the commit be confirmed within the specified amount of time. Commit comment, add a comment that describes the committed configuration. Commit and quit, commit the configuration and, if the configuration contains no errors and the commit succeeds, exit from configuration mode. By default, which character indicates the Unix shell prompt? Hash. Percent. Dollar. Hash, hash or pound sign is for the configuration mode. Percent, percent sign is for Unix shell prompt. Dollar. This is not available in Junos, greater than sign is the operational mode. You are considering an upgrade from 19.1 R1 and want to ensure that only bug fixes are included. Which two software versions should you consider in this situation? Choose two. 19.3 R1 S1 19.3 R2 19.1 R3 19.1 R1S2 Which two statements are true about static routes in the Junos OS? Choose two. Static routes remain in the routing table until you remove them or until they become inactive. Static routes must have a next hop defined. Static routes are learned by neighboring devices and added to their routing tables. Static routes are defined at the Edit routing instances, hierarchy. Static routes must have a valid next hop defined. Often that next hop value is the IP address of the neighboring router headed toward the ultimate destination. On point-to-point -point interfaces, you can specify the egress interface name rather than the IP address of the remote device. Static routes remain in the routing table until you remove them or until they become inactive. One possible scenario in which a static route becomes inactive is when the IP address used as the next hop becomes unreachable. When multiple users are editing the configuration on a Junos device, what is the default behavior when a user issues a commit command? All valid configuration changes made by all users will take effect. The user's configuration changes are committed, other user's configuration changes are still pending. The user will receive an error message disallowing a commit of the configuration. The user's configuration changes are committed, other users will be exited from configuration mode. By default, multiple users can enter configuration mode and commit changes. Use the configure exclusive command to allow only a single user to edit the configuration. Uncommitted changes are always discarded when you use the configure exclusive command. In contrast, uncommitted changes are retained when you use the standard configure command. Routing policies contain which two types of statements? Choose two. Then. From. Default. And. Terms are the basic building blocks of all Geno's OS policy. They are essentially if dot 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 then statements. If all the match conditions specified in the from statement are true, or if no from statement is specified, all the actions in the then statement are executed. You are connected to your Juno's device using an SSH connection to the FXB0 interface. No other interfaces are currently configured beyond their default settings. You commit a configuration that makes the FXP0 interface unreachable from your management network. In this scenario, how would you re-establish communication with the device? Connect to the console of the device. Establish an SSH connection to the loopback interface. Power off and power on the device. Unplug the network cable and plug it back in. You have to be physically available to connect to the console port of Juno's devices. The console port is the physical connection which is by default available for the configuration of Juno's devices. 
What are two benefits realized by the disaggregated Junos OS? Choose two. There is increased flexibility to use different control playing versions. The Junos VM becomes hardware independent and can be deployed on any hypervisor without modification. The architecture facilitates programmability through provisioning the control plane, the data path, and the platform APIs. The platform drivers and forwarding engine are removed from the control plane to increase performance. Which two features are implemented on the packet forwarding engine? Choose two. Firewall filters. Chassis management. Class of service. Routing protocol updates. The PFE also implements a number of advanced services. Some examples of advanced services implemented through the PFE include policers that provide rate limiting, stateless firewall filters, and class of service, CAS. User at router monitor traffic interface at 0 slash 0 slash 1.0 matching ARP count 10 referring to the exhibit, which parameter at the end of the command would provide information for troubleshooting purposes. No timestamp. Extensive. Print ASCII. No resolve. Use extensive command to view detailed information for a named interface, or all interfaces when a specific interface is not identified. This command is ideal when troubleshooting interfaces because it shows errors, statistics, and physical and logical interface properties. This command is also helpful when determining default settings for interfaces. Which parameter of the monitor traffic command should be used with caution when considering storage space on a Junos device? Write file. Layer 2 headers. Extensive. Detail. The write file option is hidden and should be used with caution. If used improperly, this command option could fill the available storage space of the device. Which two commands would you use to reset the candidate configuration to the active configuration? Choose two. Rollback zero. Rollback one. Rollback two. Rollback. You can easily recover previous configurations with a rollback and command. The Junos OS maintains a configuration history by storing previously active configurations. The software saves a maximum of 50 configurations. This number includes the current active configuration, which is also known as rollback zero, and up to 49 previously active configurations. Which two statements are true regarding dynamic routing? Choose two. Participating devices dynamically learn routing information from each other. Dynamic routing requires more administrative overhead than static routing. Dynamic routing allows a device to automatically reroute traffic around a failure. Dynamic routing is used when absolute control of routing parameters is necessary. Benefits of dynamic routing include, lower administrative overhead, the device learns routing information automatically, which eliminates the need for manual route definition, increased network availability. During failure situations, dynamic routing can reroute traffic around the failure automatically. The ability to react to failures when they occur can provide increased network uptime and greater network scalability. The device easily manages network growth by dynamically learning routes and calculating the best paths through a network. Which command will show files stored in the slash var slash home slash lab directory? File show. File list. Rollback. LS. To view files within a specific directory, include a slash followed by the directory and, optionally, subdirectory name after the file list command. You notice that the terms in your firewall filter are not in the correct order. What would solve this problem? Use the next term action to force an evaluation of the next term. Use the insert command to reorder the terms within the filter. Use the count parameter to ensure that the terms are evaluated correctly.
use the reject action to change the action of the filter. You can use the insert CLI command in configuration mode to modify the order in which terms appear. Which two statements are true about the default behavior of Juno's routing policies? Choose two. Routing policies control the flow of routing information going to and from the forwarding table. Routing policies control the flow of routing information going to and from the routing table. Routing policies can export active and inactive routes. Routing policies can export only active routes. How does the PFE determine how to forward transit traffic? The PFE determines network destinations itself based on the RE's routing table. The PFE uses the forwarding table provided by the RE. The PFE performs a destination lookup based on its own routing table. The PFE uses the routing table provided by the RE. A forwarding table entry for a destination must exist for a device running the Juno's OS to successfully forward transit traffic to that destination. Transit traffic passes through the forwarding plane only and is never sent to or processed by the control plane. By processing transit traffic through the forwarding plane only, platforms running the Juno's OS can achieve predictably high performance rates. Depending on the device type, Juno's is built upon which two OS kernels? Choose two. NetBSD. FreeBSD. Linux. OpenBSD. Which two statements describe PFE functions? Choose two. The PFE stores a local copy of the Layer 2 and Layer 3 forwarding tables. The PFE provides access to the CLI and JWeb. The PFE stores the master copy of the Layer 2 and Layer 3 forwarding tables. The PFE implements rate limiting using policers. In your configuration, an interface contains multiple IP addresses belonging to the same subnet. You want to identify the IP address to use for packets sent to hosts on the same subnet. Which parameter would you use to accomplish this task? Patch Primary Preferred Relative The preferred option is used when you have multiple IP addresses belonging to the same subnet on the same interface. This option allows you to select which address will be used as the source address for packets sent by the local system to hosts on the directly connected subnet. By default, the numerically lowest local address is chosen, 